Hello everyone, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to break access in prison. Okay, so for the purpose of our video, I, I have already opened uh, the Grokpad Prism version 8.1 and I'm going to select column. Okay, I have already selected column and then I'll press on create. Right, so now I have my Prism opened. I'm going to paste some data that I have I already have in my Excel sheet I will just copy this data and I'm just gonna paste it here in prism okay so I have pasted my data so in prism when we paste our when we, when we put our data you know it automatically does some calculations and some graphs for us for example if you click here, in the graphs under graph data one you know yes we can we can see that there is a graph that has already been created and the prism asks what kind of plot we want to make mean with standard deviation it has shown as default and I'm just I'm just gonna keep it as such and I'll press OK okay right so now look at this graph in this graph you hardly see the the bar graph um, for data set B and for data, data set C also the var graph is really really small, right? That's why we want to break this graph We want to break this graph and to make these B and C more visible because for the bulk for the sake of publication You know, we cannot put something like this, you know, we, we have to make the data more visible and also easy to understand when people look at them, okay, so to break the, the axis, so what axis we want to break? We want to break y axis. So what what do we have to do? We have to go to chains. Okay, we click on chains, and then click on y axis left. Okay, click on y axis left. Right. So now the this dialog box pops up. Then what do we have to do? We have to go to gaps and direction. Okay, gaps and direction. And in gaps and direction, we have to click here and click on two segments. Okay, two segments. You see now it is showing segment bottom. You have top segment or bottom segment. So I'm going to keep bottom segment. So in the bottom segment, so how big the segment you want to be? If you want the bottom segment to be 50% of the axis, then it will be 50%, 75% or 10%, 20%, you know, it really depends on how big you want the axis to be. You can make the changes accordingly. But the value, the value for it has already recommended some value automatically, but I will not keep these values. I will put my values. I'm going to keep minimum at zero, but the maximum I will put for the bottom segment 100. Okay, so this is for bottom segment. Remember, you can change this right. So I'm going to keep 100 and then I will press OK. Now you see, now you can clearly see the the bar graph for data set B and also the bar graph for data, C, data C, which are more visible. Before, they were not as, you know, so clear, right? I'm just going to undo this, whatever I did, I'm just going to undo it. You see now, they are not visible and you know not visible at all and panel B especially is not visible at all but panel C also visible but very little extent right so that's why there is a need to break the, the graph break the axis okay so one more time how to break axis in prison to do so what do we have to do we have to click on data right and and then it will show us this graph and go to chains and then click on y axis left right click on y axis left okay and this dialog bo box pops up and then go to gaps and direction okay gaps and direction here click on two segments okay click on two segments and it shows bottom segment bottom okay for the bottom segment how big we want it to be 50 percent or let's say now make it 40 percent last time it was 50 percent i'm just gonna make it 30% let's say for the purpose of demonstration and minimum score I'm going to keep 0 and maximum I will keep 100 so this you have to select you know how much 
uh, what is the minimum and maximum number that you want to put that will depend on the data type itself but the reason i selected 100 is that the data for panel c data data group c is around 100 you know from 70 to 100 and so that's why i selected this okay data group c actually sorry so and then after that i'm just gonna press okay right you now see it's 30 percent before it was 50 percent that's why you, you you have seen this okay so we can now clearly see b and c so this is how we we can break the axis or we can break the graph in prison thank you very much for your attention